All right, everyone. Well, I was just told we got to go out and feed all the cows. Um, we're going to feed them in several different sections down below in another holding pin right outside the house and then out in the field. So if you'd like to see how we feed cattle here in Tombstone, Arizona, stay tuned and I'll be right back. Time to feed the cows, so I'm going to show you how we do it. Because now we got these big bales. So they all come running. I'll show you what we got here. This is where we store our alfalfa and feed and everything like that. So she comes in and gets it. See, now I got a cow in here. And there she is, I had to just push her out. She's taking the hay down there. And she'll put it in that feeder that I showed you that we just moved. And then we gotta put one in this set of pins over here too. And she's back for the second bale. And if you notice, there's a pallet here. Um, two bags broke open, so I put them over there. And I have to put that with it, mix it. But we're gonna take this load and put them in with the cows that are over here. And then we have one more we gotta put on the truck because we're gonna take it to the tombstone side. All right, so I just opened up these gates right here. And uh, now she's coming in. And you still have to be careful that these cows don't get out. But she's just gonna put it, you can see where the hay is. So she put okay, so I had to close the pins over there. And now she's in for the third one. And we'll end up putting that on one of the ranch trucks and uh, keep them. Feeding's very important, so. Next to water, which is another subject we're having. Um, you got water and feed are the two things that really need to be done to keep up with the cattle here. And now we'll go put it on that truck. Okay, so it's on the truck, and so we're just gonna take it out there and drop it off. So we dropped a whole bunch, and then we got about 20 head right here. They're enjoying it on this side, and uh, Hopefully that'll sustain them. All these look pretty good though. So, and the end result is they are all happy. And uh, they'll eat that and then come over and get some water. And then I'll show you down below. So this little crew right here, you were down here where we're back at where we built the pins. And uh, this is the feeder we moved over from that spot over there to over here. It's where we can feed both sides. We don't have nothing in the pen, so we're just feeding these guys out here. Um, but they gotta take their time now because we can't get them from both sides. They're all gonna have to eat from one side. And I got these, you know, picking up little scraps that were dropped as it was coming down. But they'll sit here and munch on this all day and about two days, that thing will be completely gone. But hopefully, they will uh, enjoy it. And they're just gonna butt heads. So, that is how we feed the cows. Um, when they need to be fed, these two are still butting heads. But thank you for watching. And uh, if you like content like this, I keep telling you, give me that thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Um, I do plan on doing more of these and hopefully here pretty soon, we'll get more of a rhythm and uh, you know, 
get it to where it's a daily upload. I'm working on a waterline issue that we had video, so I'm gonna have that up pretty soon. I'll have this one up. Just tell me if you enjoy it or if you don't. Let me know down in the comments below. If you do like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I wanted to share one more thing with y'all. Um, we ran into town today, and I picked up one of these bird blocks. And I thought, okay, well, this panel's not too high, but actually it's about chest height. So when I dropped it over, um, it kind of broke. But hopefully the quail and everything like that will find it, and they'll enjoy it. Wish me luck.